detector. And now I am going to hit heat. And this heats the sleeve, takes about 30 seconds. Um, you could also use the heat button here. To same button, if you see either one, it's going to light up both. It's two options to turn on the heater. And also you have a set button here, just in case you're working. Some people prefer to work from the back of the splicer. And the screen also is able to invert, so you can look at the splicer from behind. And just preference. I like working from the front here and putting my heater, then putting it in the tray. So I'll wait for that to heat here. And while I want heating, you could start prepping, prepping your next cable. Um, so we move along pretty quickly. And now you can see this is heating here. And also, um, if you're doing a lot of splices, uh, AC source is, is very good because splicing and heating are going to use up your battery. But you'll get about 80, 80 splices and heat cycles with the battery. So definitely, definitely good for uh, out in places where you cannot have electrical power. And here our heater is done. The light will go off. And here's our splice. Any splice. And we'll put this on the tray behind, we'll let it cool because it's a little hot to the touch. And there you have it, the Pro 730, um, Fusion Splicer, Core Alignment, very nice machine for the price, and it gets the job done very well. And I'm going to finish up my tray here.